I want to wish everyone a happy Adar. Actually, Adar, it is now the second day of Adar, uh, the new month. And we have a commandment on Adar that we're supposed to be happy from the time it enters. So that's why I'm wearing the funny hat to uh, get into the spirit of Adar. Adar is either the seventh, the seventh month or the last month, depending on how you count. In the Bible, it is considered the last month. And since the Jewish calendar is, is uh, lunar, based on the moon, and the months are related to the new moon, in fact, in the time of the temple, you had to have witnesses saying they saw the new moon in order to proclaim the new month. And since we want the holidays to always be in the right season, Passover is always in the spring, and Rosh Hashanah is always in the fall, the way to organize it, because the lunar month is shorter, is to add an extra month every few years. And the extra month is always a dar. It also happens to be a month we're supposed to be happy, so we get to be happy for two months. Now, people ask, what do we do about birthdays, anniversaries, different things that happen in Adar, which Adar do we celebrate them in? And there's different opinions according to different uh, backgrounds and traditions. But Purim, the main holiday in Adar, is always in the second Adar. And in that way, it is always one month before Passover, and there's a connection between them. So the because of Purim, when uh, we were supposed to be slaughtered and uh, we were saved, and they say that also the Jews accepted the Torah anew, we are supposed to be happy the whole month of Adar. In fact, when my children went to school, the, on the first of Adar, they used to have special, they used to sing and dance and go from room to room singing. They sometimes even put on special skits, making fun of the teachers and that humor. And they even had a special rules for Adar, like that you have to tell a joke at the beginning of the class and different other things. And so it's a time when everything is lighter, everything is happier. Now you may say, how can you be commanded to be happy? Doesn't it depend on what's going on in your life? And that's the whole point, is that we can be commanded, because we can decide we want to be happy. And if we decide to be happy, no matter what's happening, then we can be happy for the whole month of Adar, or the whole two months of Adar. And after that, why not just continue to be happy all the time? So I'm wishing you all a very happy Adar, or happy two Adars.